Okay, here's my A rock, AS Rock P, P4S 55FX Plus motherboard. And I was having some problems with it uh, not uh, booting up. It would uh, do a weird thing to where the SATA, it would read back the information, be corrupted, and then some other times it say couldn't find boot device, and then I'd reboot it again, and, and after about five, ten minutes after warming up, it would uh, start working. And I was looking at it, and I go, what the heck is this? Look at the, all that crap coming out of the top of this capacitor here, and how it's all bulgy. And these are like green uh, capacitors. You can see those two are all bulgy. Those two are all bulgy. Those, I guess there's four right there that are all bulgy. There's a couple underneath here. And of course this one right here that's all bulgy and covered with crap. So uh, I ordered some uh, new ones and we're going to replace them. Okay, the way this works, kind of see the two leads uh, coming up here. This is where the, the ends of the, the leads from the capacitors come up. And then they're soldered to the back of the circuit board. And what I do is I take a soldering iron, take a soldering iron, heat up the, the, the points, and then I also have some solder wick. This is like a copper braid, and it's chemically treated to suck up the solder. You can kind of see where there's some solder from uh, another job I did. So you just basically heat everything up together. When the solder gets hot, it gets sucked up by the wick, and then we'll have a clean hole. Okay, I, I got the first capacitor out. This is where that big bulging one is, and here's the big bulging one. It's, uh, let's see if we can get a, a view of it on camera here. Okay, it's a, a Tason. Boy, I don't think you can see it, but it says Tason, uh, 1,000 microfarads, 6.2 volts. So I, I went to get a replacement, so I went to good old uh, digikey.com. And uh, they're great because uh, they, they ship the whole box, nice big box. I got a bunch of other capacitors just in case uh, for, for some other projects, and it was only like a couple dollars for shipping. They didn't rip you off there. And uh, the capacitors I got are the... They're, they call them the, the UCC. I guess that stands for United uh, Chemicon. And uh, I got the, the, they call it the, the KZE series. So KZE are, are some of their, uh, they have a, a lot of, they'll handle a lot of current. They have a low impedance. And they're rated for 105 degrees centigrade for something like 5,000 hours or something like that. So you can see the, the new ones. The new ones are the same height. But uh, since they're much higher quality capacitors, they're a bit bigger. So uh, I, I'm sure it'll still fit in the hole, but they are just a, a slight big, bit bigger. And, uh, you know, it's, uh, I, I guess you got to measure these things there. But when you get the better capacitors, the better capacitors are going to be, be bigger. And so it's either going to be taller or bigger around. So uh, anyway, uh, if you'll notice on the side of the capacitors, there's like a big white line. And that's the negative line. Now on this uh, motherboard, the negative was uh, the black side of the hole. The, the, the white side of the hole would be the positive. And on these new capacitors, you can kind of see how they have a, a white line for negative. And that kind of goes to the shorter lead. I, I don't know if you can see it, but uh, there, uh, one, one lead will be longer than the other lead, and the, the shorter lead is negative. So when you take out your capacitors, make sure you mark remember which side is positive. Yeah, okay, I negative. cleaned up the hole really nicely with the solder wick and then uh, pushed in the old capacitor. One lead went in really easy. The other lead was kind of a, the holes a little closed up so I had to put a little heat on on the top. I, I switched to uh, a more standard uh, uh, pencil soldering iron. This is actually working a little bit better for me. This, uh, you know, this baby here is a little supposed to have a lot more heat but uh, it just doesn't seem to work as well. I, I don't know why. I uh, I always have to like tighten up these contacts here to get it to work to and it just doesn't seem to get nearly as hot as uh, as the much lower wattage pencil iron. But anyway it's all in here and now I will just put a little blob of solder right at the top then clip off the, the, the leads and this thing will be done. So that's uh, one down, 11 more to go. So at, uh, at 15 minutes uh, the capacitor. I'm going to be here till uh, okay, one morning. I'm about halfway done here, and I've kind of picked up some tricks. Let me tell you kind of what some of the tricks are. Uh, some of the tricks are is you uh, heat up one side of the capacitor, and then push it over to the side, and it, it'll come down a little bit. Then you let it cool, and it'll freeze instantly. Then you take the other side of the capacitor, and you kind of pull it back the other way and get it down halfway. Then after doing that about two or three times, you get the capacitor out. Uh, one of them, I actually kind of 
broke, pulled it right out, and the lead was there, and I could grab it with a pair of uh, long nose pliers here. So every when you put a new capacitor in there, you get a piece of resistor lead. And this is a valuable, valuable tool. So I just got done doing this hole right here. As it happens, oh, that one's good. This one, it, it goes in about halfway and it won't go. So I'll put the soldering iron on there and then wiggle around and push it down there, way down, and then it'll kind of freeze and then I'll, I'll heat up and I'll pull up really quick and that takes the solder with it and that seems to open up these holes. So you gotta get these holes open so you can get the new capacitors in. So uh, like I say, these resistor leads are valuable tools when you cut them off, so save those things. And when you rock, you know, rock the, uh, the capacitor out and don't be afraid to even pull all the way out and then you have some nice leads to grab on with okay, some... Okay, uh, we're all done. We're all done. And uh, boy, my estimate of about 15 minutes of capacitor is probably pretty close. Got them all replaced. And I even added an extra capacitor. There's like this row right here. And these are all uh, 6.3 volts, uh, 3,300 microfarads. And I put one more and I go, what the hell? I, I don't like seeing an empty hole and I had some and hey, we're, we're talking maybe you know somewhere between uh, 40 and 80 cents for a capacitor and uh, might as well fold up there they, they wanted to save a little money and uh, so they didn't populate all the holes and and sometimes I'll get in there and add the uh, capacitors that, that were in the original design but they took out manufacturing uh, for cost cutting so uh, let's fire this baby okay up. here's one more look at some of these failed Tayson capacitors and boy I mean this one was just about ready to pop I don't don't know if you can see like how the metal is even separated on there and uh, as you do them they get faster and faster the first one takes a while and then it uh, uh, you get faster and faster uh, some of the tricks I learned is uh, you know you, you first uh, suck up any little solder that's on there at the solder wick then uh, you heat up one lead at a time and, and pull and pull and go you know, back and forth back and forth and try to pull out pretty quickly to clear the hole out and you look, you want to make sure the hole looks clear. If the hole's not clear, take the solder wick and clean the hole up on the top and take the, clean the hole up on the bottom. You just uh, like force the, 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 the tip of the soldering iron into the hole, uh, onto the wick uh, on each side, and that should be pretty clear. And, if, and then you try to put the capacitor in there. If it won't work, you, know, you take some of the, uh, uh, some extra leads and heat it up and push it in, and then uh, heat up and pull out really quick, and it'll maybe pull out any extra residual solder that's in the hole, so that the hole will be nice and clear. So uh, as you do more and more of these things, you get faster and faster at them. And uh, man, uh, it, it started off as being a real drag, but uh, eventually I got to where I was doing these things for maybe like uh, five minutes of capacitor. So uh, good luck.